Hello everyone, Bridget here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a video about how to make a short film for beginners. I recently made my first short film so I thought I would share some tips and tricks and things I learned along the way of this process. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. The first hurdle that people really stumble over is fear. Now the main thing that I hear people say is I'm not ready. I'm not there yet. Now you will never be where you want to be. You will never be there so to speak. And that's okay. The main thing in this whole creative adventure is to take the leap. You will not have the best equipment. You won't have the most experience. You will never have the most experience going into your first project in any field. So get used to it. One of the big things that people want to have when they go into their first project is equipment. You don't need amazing equipment to make a great film. Yes, it's good to have quality audio, it's good to have quality video, but that is not really tied to any specific camera, any specific microphone. You can do a short film on your iPhone, on your, well, any kind of cell phone these days. So don't, don't get tied to buying an expensive cam- don't get tied to Ugh, my god don't get tied to buying an, don't get tied to buying an expensive camera buying the best microphone buying a tripod or a stabilizer yes those are great but you don't need them for your first film this is your venture into a new area and you don't need to be the best at this moment it's all about building up your skills and just taking the leap you are jumping in the deep end right now and it does not have to be perfect one of the things i learned when going through my first film process is not to pretend to know everything that sounds like a double negative but it's very important not to fake it until you make it you don't want people to perceive you as thinking that you're bigger than you are because that will give them off the wrong vibe and you want you and your actors and your crew to be on the same page in the way of this being a passion project for all of you and just really wanting to make something good on a low budget. One thing you want to think about when going into this project, and this may seem cheesy, but I want you to find the power within you. Now I mean this in the way of finding your passion and you might be like, well, my passion is making films and all that shit. You wanna find something that you are passionate about, something that you think should be more in the media and a story that you desperately want to tell. Something that sparks that fire in you and something that will motivate you through this whole process. Because this will not only give you fuel, but will give your actors and your crew even more fuel to make an even better product. When I made my first short film, I made it about asexuality, which is something I am very passionate about and bringing more representation into the media. And my actors and the people who volunteered to help me with the film were very passionate about bringing more representation to YouTube. and just the overall film culture, I guess. <laughs> that really helped us to have this shared sense of community and bond over this shared passion. Now, if you're writing your script, you will have an image of what you want it to look like. And I need you, when you go to film it, not to be disappointed when it doesn't turn out the way you wanted you will have to make compromises. You will have to find locations that are close to you. You'll need to find places that won't charge you for just filming in there. So it is full of compromises. It's full of problem solving and it will turn out different than you expected, but it's all a learning process and don't be discouraged by it not turning out the way you wanted it to. I know that a lot of us are introverted writers or filmmakers that are just starting out and not really comfortable talking about our work and getting it out there, but one of the most important things to do is to talk about your project to anyone who will listen. This includes posting on Facebook groups that are relevant to your topic, posting generally on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram anything. Just getting the project out there and having people see it will give you 
the engagement that you need and you will find people who want to help. I had so many people on the ACE Facebook groups just asking if they could help. I was posting for casting, but then people commented saying that they're not actors, but they can help out on the weekends. They can help, like, they can be on hand. They can do anything I need, basically anything I needed them to do within limits. But having some people on hand is very helpful. And I never would have gotten those volunteers if I hadn't posted on so many Facebook groups. Now I need you to take the leap but with purpose. There are so many things that you need to think about when putting together a film production, and a lot of them you don't really think about. There are a bunch of things that are put together and they make your favorite TV shows, they make your favorite movies, and going into your first short film, you don't need to think about most of them, but the very fundamental parts you do definitely need to think about. First off, you are going to need actors. Unless you're doing a one-person film and it's just you, you are going to need other people to participate in your film. Now, this part is relatively easy when it comes to casting calls and finding people to participate. There are casting Facebook groups, and I personally use one for the casting of my short film. There is a Toronto casting Facebook group, and I just posted on there and said, I'm needing people for these characters, these are the character descriptions, and this is the shooting time. So posting a casting call is the easy part, and then when you get responses and people start messaging you, then it becomes a little bit more of a shuffling game, and you have to choose audition scenes. This part I knew a little bit about because I had friends who were actors, so now for audition scenes, you want to send your actors a few lines of dialogue to read off so that you can get a feel for how they will act as the character. You will send them off the lines and then they will come back and give you a video of them performing the lines. And that is their audition. Now, I have no idea how many auditions you'll get. I don't... I can't predict that, and it's really dependent on the time of year, it's dependent on people's lives in general, and just be ready whenever people come and be ready with the audition scenes. And then once you have the auditions, it's time to cast your people. It's time to go through those audition scenes and make your choices. Once you do, then you send out the acceptance and rejection letters in the form of Facebook messages. The next thing you need to think about is locations. And on film crews, there is a whole job description to do with location scouting, but you don't have the budget for a location scout. So you are going to have to figure out where you're going to shoot when. Now this is fairly easy since you are on a low budget. You are most likely going to be filming in your house or in public spaces. For instance, I use the bedroom next to mine for most of the scenes in my film. I also used our shed and parks around Toronto. Mm -hmm. Public parks are very easy to film in. They don't really care if you are filming, especially for a YouTube film since people nowadays are very used to people walking around with cameras. Some things you can leave in the hands of your actors, and those are wardrobe and makeup. During the filming of my first short film, I asked my actors to bring clothing that they had to my house so that I could choose what we were going to use on that day. Depending on the scenes we were shooting, I would need continuity or we would choose something new. I also went for a very minimal look in the way of makeup. I didn't ask the actors to wear anything in particular as makeup and it didn't really matter what they were wearing on their faces. I was going for a very everyday look and just basically left it in their hands. One thing that I did think about a little was props. Now this wasn't a huge concern for me in this story because there weren't any like very significant props, but it is something that you need to think about if there's something that's going to be significant to your characters and you need to go out and get it or you need to have it in every scene. So props are definitely something to think about. 
Now, when you have your actors, you have your locations in mind, and you have all your props, you have to put them together into a schedule. Now, for my short film, I chose to use Google Sheets and to put everything into an Excel sheet so that I could keep it all organized. You need to figure out when your actors are available because people do have their own lives and they most likely have other jobs or commitments that you need to take into account. In my schedule, I would put down the actors' names as well as the location and the time so that each of the actors would know when they're supposed to be there and I would schedule it before we were supposed to start shooting. Okay, so that's everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you if you're preparing to do your first short film. Let me know down in the comments if you are and let me know what it's about. Like, what is the topic? I'm curious. Also, leave a comment down below if there's any other videos you'd like me to make on this topic. I'd love to talk about it more. I will be making more videos on writing and filmmaking, so stay tuned for that. I will be back on Friday with another video. Please Go ahead and subscribe for more storytelling content. Give this video a like and ring the bell. And I will see you guys on Friday with another video. Bye. I hate that little, look at that little spot on my wall. Oh my God, what is this word? <sighs> Expen expensive? <laughs> my body is like, wow.